What's up guys? I'm Exotic Gaming and welcome back to another Bullet Force video. Today's video is very special. Now, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a decent amount of time, you know that my past Bullet Force videos generally consist of either gameplay or maybe the occasional case opening, but in the end of my most recent last episode, the FAMAS gameplay, I hinted at doing a special tutorial in my next episode. And here we finally are. As you guys can see, today's video is a special tutorial on how you can get Bullet Force on your computer. Either a Windows computer or a Mac computer, doesn't really matter, it will work on both different versions and let's get this tutorial started. I really hope you guys are excited for this. Make sure to leave a like down below if you guys are and you would like to see more Bullet Force videos on my channel and let's get right into this. So first off, open up your favorite web browser of choice, doesn't really matter, I'm gonna use Google Chrome, and go search Nox App Player, N-O-X App Player. This is basically an Android emulator, and it's going to simulate Bullet Force for your computer. It actually is a little complicated in setting up because it's basically going to think you are doing this in touch screen, but you're not obviously in a touch screen device. So you're going to click the download button. It'll take a second to download. If you're on a Mac, click the Mac version. And once it finishes, you're going to click that and exit out of your web browser because you're not going to need that anymore. It's going to take a second before the thing pops up, but once it does, you're going to click yes. And then you're going to start the installation process of Knox App Player. So let's wait a sec. It should pop up any moment now, and here we go. Go click yes, and I wanna take a second to say that there are no viruses in this. As you guys can see right here, any false positive report by antivirus, please let us know. There are no viruses associated with Nox, so this is a perfectly safe installation. So it'll take a second to install, and once you do install this, it's basically kind of like getting a brand new Android device. There are several things you're going to need to set up because it's going to trick the computer into thinking that you are actually running a real Android device. So once this loads up, you're going to have to set up your Google Play Store account. I would recommend using a different Google Play account, a different Google account than the one that you normally use. I would just create any random one and that way you don't have any risk of losing your other Bullet Force account. So go click next, next, next. This will just give you some information about Knox. And here we are now on the main screen. I'm gonna go actually full screen now so we can see it a little bit better and go click the Google Play Store right at the very beginning. Now, a lot of people would click existing and use their old Google account, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna create new and that's what I recommend you guys to do. So just put any any random name it doesn't really matter um, Joe Schmo and um, it might actually exit out just for a second so let's go use the Google Play Store again go create create new um, it doesn't really matter what you do so let's go do that and I'm going to create my account right now just anything random doesn't really matter it'll take a second password let's go do this um, and let's go. Okay, passwords didn't match. This is a password that uh, I used to use, but I don't use anymore for certain things. But go click not now. Um, I would honestly uncheck these things just in case. Go click I accept. Set up your account and then go use the CAPTCHA real quick. R-S-E-S-T. And here we are now. We finished the CAPTCHA and you don't really need to worry about this. You don't have to have a payment info because Bullet Force is a free game, so you don't have to even worry about having a credit card. It'll take a second to load, but once it does, you will be gifted into the Google Play Store. So it'll take a second, and it, depending on how long this takes, I might end up cutting the video, so yeah. All right, guys, so it took a second. What I actually had to do was go down to this thing right here, exit out, and then open up the Google Play Store a second time, but let's go get started, and let's go download Bullet Force. So just search Bullet Force right here and get the first one that appears. It'll take a second to install. There's already a million installations. Wow, that's crazy. Go click Install, go click Proceed, and wait for this to install. It'll uh, take a little bit, so I'll see you guys once this finishes installing. All right, guys, so it's taken a second to download. It's I don't have the fastest internet connection in the world, so it did take a decent amount of time, but once you finally install that, click open, and here you finally are now in Bullet Force. But don't click away from the video just yet because you will not be able to play the game if you just go right into practice right now. As you guys will see, if I go try to click practice, 
I will go into a game, but I will not be able to control. Actually, right now I am able to control. I, I realize that. It's uh, it's actually because I already have my settings equipped. But um, what you're basically going to want to do is go into practice. And if you try to use the WASD keys, it's not going to work. This is what you're going to need to do. If you go up to the top right, you see the simulate touch button. And as you guys will see, this is all you need to add in for your special little thing. So you're actually able to control your character. So... What you want to do first is obviously have a movement, so you're going to click this button right here. Put it right here, I'd make it a little bit bigger just so you actually have the ability to run sometimes. Um, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. Put it somewhere around right there, that's perfectly fine. Next, what you're going to want to do is add the one for sight, and that goes right here in the center of the little button. One for fire, one for jumping, and if you have something that's for jumping, I would recommend the space bar, that's generally how PC games are with jumping. So. All you do is you input a key, so you tap space once, and then you're good. For typing, for tap, for chats, I would honestly put T. I think that's the best one for chats. For grenade, I would put G. And then for this, for the reload, I would put R for a nice little reload thing right there. Um, what you're going to have to do is there's not actually something that's allowing you to swipe, unfortunately. So that's a little unfortunate, but then again, I mean, you're still able to play this on your computer, so that's perfectly fine. There are other three things you can add right here, which are going to be your special kill streaks. but I mean, you guys would probably put something like a 1, and then a 2, and a 3, and stuff like that. That's what I would recommend, but it's, it's all up to you. So after doing that, you can click Save, and I would put the opacity. You can keep the opacity here, but I think it looks a little bit better if you put it all the way down to right here. I think I didn't add my aiming so let's go add that one in and then let's go click save and now we can actually control it's a little odd it's a little wonky as people would say but then again i mean it's better than nothing and you are actually able to play this on your computer so you can click r for aiming and then as you guys can see it uh is a little odd at times but i would not recommend aiming all that much sometimes when you're using this you can go like this you can actually use your mouse to manually drag but uh i mean hey you're finally able to play Bullet Force on your computer. I mean, it's freaking awesome. I, I, I love being able to play these games on my computer. It makes it all that much more better. There's a guy right over there. He's going to end up dying reloading. I click the R button, as you guys can see. And um, yeah, it's great. Um, sometimes it's a little odd in terms of the gameplay that you get. And I wouldn't recommend, obviously, playing this on your computer if you're trying to get, like, world-class gameplay in Bullet Force. But you can get some gameplay with this and that's the most important part you can kill some people i died unfortunately and uh well you're gonna have to do some practice before you go into actual real life multiplayer it's gonna take some practice for sure when you're using this let's go aim can we actually aim let's go get this guy from right over here hey there we go nice long range kill reload our gun let's run up towards these guys and i kind of want to go into some actual multiplayer so what i'm going to do is Click the pause button, go to the main menu, and let's see if we can actually compete against some multiplayer people. I'm just going to go as a guest, and uh, I don't think this is going to work out too well just because I haven't practiced this a lot. But hey, I mean, if we can get a decent amount of kills, that'll be all right. But um, that is basically the uh, tutorial on how to get this. It's going to take a second. I don't know why. It didn't allow me to go join into this one. There we go. It, it For some reason, it didn't disconnect. I guess it's just because they're changing maps, but uh, here we go, guys. We have just a little bit of time left, and this match is just about to start. Hopefully, these people aren't too high of a rank. Um, it looks like some of them are. There is a guy that is rank number one, so I do have a chance of taking him out. Did that guy just spawn right next to me? No, he didn't. Okay. There is a guy that is over here, though. So I could potentially take him out. It is a little odd sometimes with that aiming. I would honestly recommend not aiming all that much. I mean, you can at times, but it's probably best not to aim with your gun, and that way you can get your best gameplay. Obviously, use your mouse to click deploy, and uh, overall, I think it's a pretty good simulation of the regular bullet force on your Android device. Um, I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was, then I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like down below. It would mean the world to me, and um, it would let me know if you want to see more Bullet Force videos on my channel. I can't find anybody right now. Of course, Village is like the worst map for this, but hey, let's go get a kill on this guy. Can we get a first kill? God dang it. It was an assist, and it counted as a kill, so technically I do have one kill so far. Um, let's see if we can get any more. I don't know. We're probably not going to really get many more kills here. There's a guy that's just spawned in right here. We can get him, and there's our, there's our first true... Never mind, it's an assist. Why am I getting so many assists right now? Dear Lord. Every single time, it's an assist. I'm not getting an actual kill. Hey, there we go. Let's go get this guy. And... 
There we go. Or nope, never mind. Come on, get the get the kill, get the kill. Get the kill! Are you kidding me? Is this guy not? Is this guy ah, oh, is this guy a hacker? Oh, wow. Well, we've already encountered a hacker. I mean, we're basically playing with Android users, so it makes sense that there are more hackers. It's a lot easier to hack on an Android device, but let's just run away from that guy, not even worry about him. Let's actually uh, try to shoot somebody. Let's go shoot this guy. There we go. That's a kill. And then there's this other guy who I think has just teleported to us. Is this the guy with infinite health? Yep. That's that's really lame. That's really, that's really sad. Um, you can actually switch manually by dragging your mouse across the screen, although I wouldn't recommend it. It's not a great idea. This guy's a big problem, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I don't really want to do too much more gameplay because it's it's pretty painful, honestly, watching this because I'm not very good. But I do believe if you play this enough um, off camera, you play this enough on your computer, you're going to get pretty good at this game. And you may even be better on your computer than on your regular Android device. I don't really know. It, it, it all depends, honestly, how much you play this game. You could really potentially be even better. So let's go uh, Let's go kill this guy. There's this guy who's just, uh, well, he's hacking as usual. So that would have been a kill, but um, let's just not even worry about him. We're going to die from the hacker, so that's a little unfortunate. I think that's a pretty good indication that um, we probably should end this video here, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to comment down below other guns you'd like for me to do videos on for Bullet Force. And um, yeah, in the next video, we will be back on the mobile version of this game. But with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe if this is the very first video you are watching on my channel. And I will see you all in the next episode, right after I get a nice, awesome kill. There we go. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, Bullet Force creator, please ban this guy. Who is this guy with the maximum amount of kills? Um, is it Mick Cog or something like that? I don't know who it is, but uh, whoever this guy is, please ban him. He is, he is definitely something that needs to die, but whatever. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.